Howdy heathens, it's your boy Jay, aka Pumpkinhead, and I am here to show you guys my bed build. If you watched the last video I just did of the, uh, the Oregon Coast crabbing, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and uh, it was definitely fun to make. But now it's time to get back to this old girl here, and uh, there's a few things you're going to need for this build, okay? You're going to need a drill with a... Um, a uh, 3 16 drill bit. The reason why I say that is because the popper bits that I got are 3 16 in hole diameter size. So you just want to match that. Number two, frosty beverage of your choice. That's a must. This is a popper bit gun, okay? $7 at Walmart. And it even comes with a few popper bits with it. So, killer deal. And if you guys don't know how to work one of these, I will show you how on this video. They're really pretty simple to use. If you don't have a helper with you, get yourself a couple of these little cr uh, clamps right here, okay? Those are two bucks at Walmart here in Oregon. I got two of them. They're just to help hold things in place while you make your holes and pop your roots in. Very handy. A jigsaw with a metal cutting blade on there. Um, and all this stuff here, this you can get at Harbor Freight for 20 bucks. The blades you can get there for cheap. This is really the only semi-expensive item I have, and that's because I do a lot of drilling and I use this thing constantly. So I kind of stepped up my game on the drill here. I use the black oxide drill bits. Those seem to do a lot better in keeping their, their uh, sharpness when you're working with aluminum here. And that's basically... All you're gonna need to do the framing on this build and I'm gonna show you how stay tuned have a drink let's get to it Let's get to it. If you're like me out there, guys, sometimes you come across a project like this and you just don't know where to begin, um, how to get this done. So this is why I kind of planned out a little bit of uh, what I'm gonna be doing inside here. Now I might change things as I go along. I don't know. Sometimes that happens to better suit your needs. What I'm gonna do is my bed platform is gonna sit about the same height as my wheel wells. Now you guys that are in trucks and vans, you guys know all about these guys right here. And the first um, the first measurements I'm gonna take, I'm gonna need wires here. The first measurements I'm gonna take are of this right here, this line right there. So I wanna go from, from this point, the furthest point forward I can get to the furthest back point. So I'm gonna take measurements of that. That's where I'm gonna start. Okay, now for those of you that have never used a tape measure before, it looks like that. And that's one inch, two inch, three inch. And it shows you where there's the, uh, the foot mark. So you wanna go by that. I'm gonna put this guy at that mark right there, two feet. And at that two foot mark, I'm gonna take a uh, felt pin. Just give it a, a rough line right there. And just, you know, mark it right there. And then I'm going to finish the line all the way up and over. Now, like I said, nothing on here is gonna be super exact, okay? So I'm just gonna run a straight edge right here. Just like that and the same thing on the other side and this is just basically for cutting purposes and if you've never used one of these before you want to make sure you have a metal blade on there you'll see where it says uh it says metal on that blade if you put it in here you'll see god this is so awkward to do with a camera 
you just want to line the blade up with uh, with where it's at and just make sure your blade follows along that line all right guys i got both of these guys cut and pay no attention to my cuts that's what happens that's what happens when you buy cheap blades off of amazon but anyway this is gonna go here right on that line okay and that's where i'm gonna put it okay guys so before i mount this up to that wall right there i'm gonna go ahead and mark either way it don't matter i'm probably gonna put it just like this and what i want to do is i want to put about five five rivets in sorry what i want to do is about five rivets all down this thing so what i'm going to do i'm going to drill holes kind of like i'm just going to mark holes right it doesn't have to be precise so i'm going to put one there one there one there one there and then one down there this is going to be probably the hardest thing about doing this uh style build out so let me go ahead and pre-drill my holes and then i will hold it up here drill a hole in one end and put a pop rivet in it so let's get to it all right guys i got my holes pre-drilled out okay and uh, you, they don't like i said they don't have to be perfectly placed apart or anything like that so the hardest part about this if you don't have a partner to help you out here is lining it up with that rail and your van should also have something similar to this if not just do a measurement from there to there and place it about the same height as your wheel well so the hardest part here is just holding it there and drilling a hole through the hole you already drilled into the truck and this is a good meaty part of the vehicle to be able to drill through this. Ain't gonna go to the outside of the truck. Matter of fact, this is hollow in here. This isn't the outside of the truck. So now I'm gonna put a rivet in there. Okay, so like I showed in the previous video, the fasteners I got are these, uh, it's, I'm sorry, it's backwards. They're one quarter inch grip and they're 3 16 in diameter. What that means is, This shank right here, uh, that's what slips into the hole and butts up against that flat head on there. That's a quarter inch right there. So sometimes these are a little bit hard to get in. So what you wanna do on that, put your drill bit back in here and just wall it out just a little bit and your popper of it will fit right in. So, means that I did it on the second hole here. Put the pop rivet inside. And then put it inside the hole. Pop rivet gun. Make sure you have the right, um, the right size diameter hole for the head. It doesn't look like I do. So, the one that I need is that guy right there and these pop rivet guns come with the little extra heads for them you can tell because that's what's supposed to go in there and then it's going to work but it does go in that guy so we're going to actually have to use the top one okay let me get that switched out <laughs> so these guys you just take a wrench the size of them unscrew it already did the top one in the gun and that's what it looks like it's just little screw out head with a uh, hole in the end let me put that guy up here okay so i'm going to waste one of these guys and demonstrate to you what it does let me scoot you over here so you put this guy all the way in there just like that right 
And when you force it into the hole, and then you push down on this handle, you wanna keep pressure on this head facing towards whatever you're doing. Because when you squeeze this, it grabs onto the shank inside here and pulls it in and you see it smash right there at the end. One more time, open it all the way and then close it. You'll see the little ball inside here move forward more. Okay, and that way this is what really grips onto the metal. And this is what we're doing down here on the side of the truck. Once you get it in there far enough, this stem will pop off and that's why they call these pop rivets, okay? So let me demonstrate to you guys what I'm talking about. So let me put a new one in here and I'm only using the quarter inch thick uh, shank on these guys because it's just going through this eighth inch piece of aluminum and into this very thin piece of metal here on the, on the side. So let me shove that in there, right? But I already have one. This is how I generally like to do it. I'll take it and put it inside the way it's gonna be. And then I will put it inside here. Put it in the hole that you drilled. Just like that. Get it kind of lined up where you want it. Push forward as you're squeezing the handle. Okay, there's one. And if I do one more, it'll probably pop. See that? And then there's the... And as you guys can see, that's what you're left with right there. Pop riveted into place. So now, since you only have one in here and you can still move this guy up and down either way on the end, this is where you want to keep it lined up. And it's held up there on its own now. Those pop rivets hold pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and drill the rest of those holes out and put pop rivets in them. Pop rivet in. Put that in the hole. Squeeze once, all the way. Open it up and squeeze again. And it pops out. Pops that shank right out of there. And this guy with just two of those on there really isn't gonna go anywhere. But I'm a big guy. I'm gonna have a lot of structure coming off of this. So I'm gonna put three more in here. And this is how quick this is how quick it could be done without spilling your drink when you get started Squeeze once and it actually pulls itself tight. Squeeze twice, you're good. Like I said, once you get the hang of it, things go pretty quick. That guy right there is fully mounted. Look at that. And that's the one side. So we're gonna take and do the same thing up there and also on that wall and that wall. And that is gonna be our base structure for this build. But let me go ahead and show you guys just how easy it is to remove these if you happen to do it this way. So I'm gonna take this one right here. You put the drill bit right in the center. That head pops off. And that's really it. You can push this, push it all the way through. So let me put one back in that guy's place. But that guy, here, I'm, that's solid. That ain't going nowhere. You could dance on it. So now, Gonna be time for that side. All right, and I got my holes drilled out on uh, 
on that guy as well, or the other side. So I'm gonna set you guys back here and uh, let's get her going. So you want the top to be flat. You want it right about Just line it up with that line right there as even as you can. And that way you don't need a you don't need any other special tools. No, man down. Put it in the hole you drilled out. Place that in there. And when you give it that first squeeze, that's gonna kind of anchor it in. So it won't go anywhere. Okay. Looks good. Level that out. And like I said, this doesn't have to be super precise, guys. Doesn't have to be super precise. Another pop rivet. In she goes, squeeze once, push forward after that first squeeze. See how it just went popped on like that? And then give it another squeeze. All right. Pop rivet. Pop ribbit. Pop ribbit. Sometimes you gotta wiggle them like that and then they'll come out of there. Can do the same with this guy. Like that. There we go. That is hard mounted. I will tell you that, that is mounted on there good. So I'm gonna do the same for the fronts now. And then I will begin to build the cross structure up front. All right guys, so I got these pieces cut that go on the front. I did the measurement. They're about 28 inches. And as you can see, my cuts still kind of suck, okay? so. Again, you don't have to be precise with this. So I'm just drilling out my uh, my holes real quick for my rivets. And I'm holding them both together to do that. So I could kill uh, two birds, one stone, right? Ah, cheap piece of shit bits. All right, we'll get one of the other ones. All right, well, that was the only black one, black oxide that I have. But as you can see, they're a little bit brittle. So you can't lean on them too much, which I did. And that's what you wind up with. So I'm going to go with the good old gold, gold bit here. All right. Holes pre-drilled on both of them. See that? So, let's put them in. Okay, you guys, never mind uh, this mess here. This is where I had my electrical hooked up in the last camper. And again, I'm putting a house battery here, a uh, um, 100 amp hour AGM battery. That way I have power back here and uh, I can plug in my phone and laptop and all that kind of good stuff. This right here, that's the uh, plug that I put in, that I drilled the uh, hole right here and put in. If you guys haven't seen that, check out the last video and you'll see what this is for. Um, and this is for my solar panels that are coming in from the outside. Those also go to the charge controller and you know the deal. As you can see, 28 inches came out to just about perfect for this area. It's set back a little bit, um, and it's not like rubbing on the wheel well here either. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill out the holes that are there, at least one, probably 
the guy right here in the center first and I'll get a rivet in there just to hold this guy up. Pop rivet. Oh, gotta get the rivet gun, hold on. Bear with me here. All right. Put your pop rivet in, just like that. Put it in the, uh, the hole you just drilled out. that one pump let it go and push it back forward you see that space it took up that's important and then hold it with the back of your hand if you can for the second squeeze and the reason why I chose to do it in the middle is because now I can turn it like this and even it out When you get it drilled out to hold it even, wiggle one of the popper bits in there and it'll keep it from uh, moving up and down and becoming uneven on you. Now I gotta do it right over here on this side. Try to even it up with that line that's already existing in the bed of your vehicle. And that way it, uh, you don't really need a level or anything. Doesn't matter, it's kind of build. There we go. She's in, it's that simple. Now, I can show you guys why I put them there. Okay, so as you can see, that simple, that quick, both sides, right? Now, you have a structural support on the sides to put crossbars all the way across, then you rivet those on there. And in the center here, once there's a bar going from here to here, you can put some center support, a support piece in the center. Same thing on the back side. You never wanna leave one of these pieces if it's too long. You don't wanna leave them unsupported. It is aluminum, it does bend and flex. So you definitely want to have a little bit of underneath support. You can choose to rivet it down to the floor like I'm going to do, or you can choose to use riv nuts, or you could even put another crossbar on the floor and rivet it to that. So. Now I'm gonna take the measurements from up here to across there. And the first one I'm gonna do is that back wall cross piece. And I'm gonna rivet that in place. Let's get to it. All right, so if you can see, I left a little bit of a space in the back, about a quarter inch, right? Reason for that, now I can slip this guy in behind it. Same thing over here. And uh, that's the back cross beam. So what I was gonna show you guys, I picked these guys up for this purpose. Because I knew two-handed is gonna suck, or only having two hands is gonna suck trying to hold this thing together. All right, so it's gonna be a little tough drilling these because I have this guy in the way here. You guys probably aren't gonna have this and uh, you're gonna be able to get to these just fine. So I'm gonna have to reposition uh, it's gonna be fun. Let's 
See how it comes up like that? Push it back down on the second pull. I hope you guys can see. She's in there. And you see how if you use like an eighth inch stick, it's not gonna to create too much of a gap. And the reason why I wanted to use this angle facing upwards, because this is what the board's gonna lay on for my bed platform. I'm actually gonna screw the bed platform down to these, which is why I went with this way on the angle. So let's go ahead and uh, get a piece cut for up front. These guys might not be long enough, which is why I got the uh, half inch length ones. Yeah, I don't think these are gonna be long enough. So let me open the other ones. Now you see these ones are longer, so they should go down right through both of these. So this is an eighth inch thick. So if you have one eighth and one eighth, these two together, that would bring it to probably about, I don't know, a quarter inch, but so I got the longer guys. Yeah, these are about, when you hear that pop and it doesn't come free, you can just wiggle it loose like that and uh, pop it off. Two rivets back there, two rivets back there, two rivets there, and two over here. Now, you guys can see, let's come back a bit. You kind of get the idea of what I'm doing here, right? There's my front box. Electric's gonna be under here, possibly with a flip up lid. This over here is gonna be bed platform coming all this way. The reason why I left this angle with this flat part up like that is because, like I said, that's where the boards are going to sit. And you want the boards, if you're going to have hatches, to be able to come down and lay on something. If you don't, your hatches are just going to push through when you put weight on them. And this is the part. See, it doesn't flex much. It don't flex much. But I do want to put a brace going down. But I'm going to go ahead and start getting the, uh, the rest of the platform ready. So... The other part of the bed, like I said, is going to be L-shaped over here and then down this way. This is for when I'm alone, just having a bed right here. When I have company, I'm going to have a board underneath my bed that flips over and lays on top of there for support. So this whole side over here is going to be open unless I have somebody staying with me in here. And uh, that remains, this will be a footwell to keep your feet so I can sit up in here, watch TV over here or something, and have my feet down here in a footwell area. Makes it more comfortable, right? And this is super light. If you would have put these as two by fours, you would have already added probably about 25 pounds to your build. I've had, if you were to grab all those together, there's maybe eight pounds there. So you're saving weight and none of this will rot, soak up water, and as you can see, it's pretty easy to do. It's not too bad. All right, guys. Ah, crawling into the man mansion here. Madden mansion. Okay. So this guy, I want to put him right about there. So what I want to do is, I forgot my pen, but we're going to do, try to get it as perpendicular as you can, okay? And then you want to take a note, not a note, but mark, probably about a quarter inch down, mark a line across there, and that's how you're going to have your bracing. You'll be able to cut this. And I already made a couple of uh, 
these little guys just by chopping the ends off of this. So you're not really wasting much. These can be your uh, your uh, brackets. And these guys will go just like that. And you can rivet it down to the floor. Here we go. This one of these guys really come in handy. So you're gonna put that guy on the inside there. Right about where you need it at. And make sure it's flush against this on the back side of here. Make sure of that. Okay. First hole I'm gonna drill is over here. Okay. Now you're gonna need the half inch guys because one eighth and one eighth, you know. Pop that guy in there. super sturdy you are not going to falter with that so now we got my back platform now all I have to do is bring a bar back here and build out the bled the excuse me the bed platform over here and uh, we should be good and if you guys are worried about like the corners and stuff you know when you when you cut these and you got sharp corners especially down here at the end of the truck you can take a file or whatever you want to because this is pretty soft metal you can take a file and round it off so it's not so sharp if that is a problem I'm going to do though is from this brace here up to the front I'm gonna put a cross brace across there and that will only help steady things up and when I'm getting ready to have a compartment over here it'll create a divider probably about 28 and a half inches less than that 28 and a quarter I'm gonna go straight across here let's go get that cut see the structure is going together pretty easy so I'm gonna use these little guys again just to try to help me along here Yeah, get better ones don't buy the, the cheapies <laughs> yeah. Then you just gotta worry about that backside back there. But we go ahead and do that. actually gonna put the same kind of brace back here that I got right here because now that I see it, it is a bit flexible so same thing that I did here I'm gonna do right there see how you're gonna fit it in there I'm gonna go just like that and uh, a little helping hands here and let me tell you when you got these when you buy these cheap ones, they don't really do much for you. Oops. Just gotta do your best. You gotta do your best and break another drill bit. Oh, good lord. 
All right. Hopefully you guys can see that. I found a couple of bits. You can go with a little bit bigger size, but not too big. Otherwise your rivet won't work. But I found that one. It might, might work. We'll try it first. Pieces of crap. Well, guys, this is why you always want to buy more than one or two of the same drill bit when you're doing this kind of project. I'm going to have to go get more bits and uh, get back to this. But at least you guys can see where I'm going with this. It's really simple and easy to work with. If you have too much flex right here in the center of this, you can always do the same thing right here. Even over here, you got too much flex over there, you can put another brace in there. As simple as that guy. And uh, that creates a good platform. You see how much more sturdy that is with that in there? And it's not even drilled or riveted in. It's pretty strong. All right, guys. I found another bit, last bit that I have. Go ahead and put it in there. about there see how that does all right guys well sun faded and uh i'm out of the drill bits that i need and they um and i need some better saw blades so i'm actually gonna have to go hit home depot first thing in the morning when i get off of work and uh but i'll show you guys in here she's uh coming along and that's really all there is to it it uh doesn't take much to work with aluminum um the next video i'm going to be doing the process of putting the, the bar that comes up around this way here that way i can start with building the bed platform on this side and then uh and go from there so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thank you for tuning in and uh, that's going to have to do it for tonight. So much appreciated. We'll see you guys on the next one. What do you think? <laughs> All right, time to get this stuff cleaned up and uh, 